This is Eric from Pack Hacker, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Low Alpine Depot 25, which I've been testing for the past two weeks. Let's dive in. So starting things off with the exterior here, you can see we've got this very minimalistic design. It's black everything, black on black on black. And just overall, it is a black bag. But we've got um, 1680D polyester, which is this front face here. You can see it's got a little bit more texture to it and it's a bit thicker, a little bit rougher. And then on the sides here, we've got 420D polyester, which is a little bit less, you know, uh, rough and doesn't have as much visible texture. It's the same texture, but it's just a bit smaller. Not how well you can see the difference there. It's like on a smaller scale than the bulk material. But overall, very happy with how the um, polyester held up over the two weeks. And I got this pretty muddy, pretty wet. Um, it's springtime in Detroit. We're getting a lot of rain, lots of mud on the road, and riding my bike to and from work just got sprayed with mud, sprayed with water, pretty much anything you could throw at it, snow, sleet. Uh, we get a little bit of everything here this time of year and this pack did a, a very good job. I cleaned it up this morning and I literally just took a sponge and wiped it for 15 seconds. And it's not perfect right now, I'm sure you can see a couple speckles on there still, but it cleans up very, very nicely. I did a more thorough clean about halfway through the testing period and I spent more time and got it basically looking like new and that took about you know, a minute or two, and then after it dried, another 30 seconds to catch anything that I missed. So very happy with how the exterior has performed on this, and it does have, I believe, what they call a hydro shield coating, so some sort of a, um, a DWR coating to keep water out, and when it did rain or sleet or snow, uh, no water that I noticed got inside the pack, and everything inside was still dry. So doing its job there, and just, like I said, very happy with how the exterior performed. We have the Low Alpine logo there. Just bring it a little bit closer so you can see it. It's just like kind of like a, a plastic coating almost. And then the logo itself is just cut out from that plastic that's stuck on there. So very minimalistic. You can see it kind of when I shine the light on it correctly. But from afar, you're really not going to see that. Very, very minimalistic and just a nice looking bag even from afar. And... I don't think that the roll top is too um, weird looking either. I, don't, I mean, not that roll tops are you know, innately weird looking, but sometimes they can look a little funky. We've got that same kind of plastic here on the top. It says Depot 25, which is pretty minimalistic as well. Like if you weren't looking for it, you might not notice it. But other than that, I believe that's the only branding other than on the shoulder strap here. We've got the Low Alpine logo. Same kind of thing that uh, sticker that's cut out and stuck on there. So we'll flip this over here. So we actually do have a few zippers on this pack, even though it is a roll top. We've got a zipper here, which is a YKK number eight. All of the exterior zippers are YKK number eight. And then the stuff on the inside, YKK number five, but just pretty basic zipper pulls here. Got metal with a little cord tied into a knot on the end. Very easy to grasp onto in all weather conditions. Like I said, we got caught in all kinds of different weather while testing this bag. So we got that zipper there, and then we've got this back compartment zipper here, which has two zipper pulls or two zippers, so you can open it as much as you want or as little. A lot of the time when I use this back zipper, I leave it at the top just because it was easier to access. This is the, the laptop compartment in the back, which I'll get to, but it found it easier to get to these zippers when they're here because you don't have to look which side they're on. Um, something interesting to note about this zipper is that it goes to here on this side and to here on this side. I'll get into how that affects the usage, um, but just while we're talking about the zipper, I thought it made sense to bring that up. So it kind of opens up like a diagonal when you have it opened all the way, but we'll get into all of that. We'll stick with the hardware for now. We've got uh, Duraflex hardware here on the adjusters. Um, easy to use, you know, I, once you get it in place, like once you get where it fits you, you don't need to change it so much, especially because this fabric is pretty rigid, so the bag isn't really going to get bigger or smaller. Uh, it does have a little bit of give because that side panel is the lower deaner, but overall this pack is, it has its shape and it's going to, for the most part, keep its shape, so you don't have to adjust these too much because that's how I, the most of the time when I adjust these on a backpack often is when the backpack kind of changes shape and weight 
and you have to adjust those. But these stay in place really well once you have them where you want to. And it, it just works as, as well as you want it to. There's no strapper keepers here, which not the biggest deal for me because maybe because I, I have a larger frame. So there isn't a bunch of uh, strap to worry about and it just really didn't get in my way. But we'll continue with the back panel here. We've got nice padded shoulder straps. They are pretty thin and they just, they don't have a lot of like, you know, gusto, I guess is the right word to use. They don't have a, a ton of gusto. They're very, very padded, but they can feel a little awkward when you're not using the uh, sternum strap here. And the sternum strap is pr placed pretty low. You can adjust it, but even at its highest um, point, which is going to be up here, it's, it's pretty low for a, a sternum strap. But while wearing this pack, um, without the sternum strap, it kind of felt like the shoulder straps were like running away from each other. And maybe that's because I was using it while I was cycling, but it just felt like something was kind of missing when I wasn't wearing it. And it's a pretty small buckle here. Let me bring it a little closer so you can see that. Put it in the palm of my hand. But it's a pretty small buckle. So while I was cycling, especially if I was wearing gloves or something like that, or if you're just out walking and wearing gloves, it was kind of hard to like get down to put it on while like, just because it was kind of small and I have, you know, fairly good sized hands. So, you know, if you struggle with small things, you might struggle with this sternum strap. But when the sternum strap's on, the shoulder straps feel fine. No complaints about them at all. We'll flip these over a little bit so you can see this side. It's not aerated, but it's got an airy material. Like it's almost, it's like the same material as like the water bottle pocket, which we'll get into in a minute. It's, you know, stretchy and a little, like kind of has like a little bit of airflow to it. Um, same as the back panel, it's got that same kind of sh like stretchy feel to it. It's adhered to the padding on the back panel, but overall it's, it's pretty airy and it does have these you know air channels here so air can kind of flow through. So even when I had this thing pretty densely packed, uh, really didn't have any issues with comfort between the shoulder straps and the back panel, the padding, and then these air channels. It is 25 liters, so you can fit a pretty good amount of gear in there. So other packs sometimes if it, you know, they didn't have good padding or aeration, you'd start to feel that weight that you could fit in there. But I didn't have that, be, you know, become an issue at all here. And this, you know, ample padding on the back panel so you can't really feel when, uh, like, your laptop in there or whatever else you might put in there. It's, you know, pretty durable on the back. Uh, something else that these shoulder packs, shoulder straps have is there's a little pocket right here. And they market that to, for your Bluetooth headphones. And I put my headphones in there a few times. I have just a pair of like uh, Bluetooth headphones with the cord that go around the back and put them in there. And they looked a little wonky, but they fit in there just fine. I was a little hesitant to do it because it's not terribly tight. Like it's not like, I don't know, if you have bigger headphones, it's not a huge deal. But as you can see, like there's a gap there. So like if you have smaller headphones or like you put your headphones in there and you're pretty active, I just, I don't know that I trust it. I did not have any issues, but as you can see, there is a, a bit of a gap there, so. Uh, I think that's just, just something to note um, depending on your headphone size. But moving on to these water bottle pockets here, we've got very like stretchy material here, almost like elasticy. Maybe you can see it better from the side. Really can uh, get a lot, of, a lot of give there and it's pretty tight on larger items. Smaller items, like if you were just to put something small on there, not like a water bottle, might be a little bit loose. As you can see, there's a, you know, without really putting much pressure on it, there is a gap there. But you are able to fit this, uh, I believe, 32 ounce. Yep, 32 ounce Hydro Flask, and it is able to squeeze in there just fine. It's also able to fit my 32 ounce Nalgene in there. And then just to show the stretchiness, we've got the 21 ounce Hydro Flask that fits in there. Not as tight as the larger Hydro Flask was, but I'm not really worried about that going anywhere. And you've got two of them too. So if you really like to be hydrated, or if you've got another item you wanted to stick in there. You can do that no matter what size your water bottle is. Um, I think anything bigger than a 32 ounce might be pushing it, but it does stretch, so you might be able to do it. Uh, I have not had any issues with the elastic or whatever you want to call it on the side here wearing out. Uh, I did have a 32 ounce bottle in there a lot, so I, you know, you would think that if it were to stretch out, it would have started to do it by now, but no issues with that. Something else I want to talk about on this pack is this, I've been calling it like this little tail. So to open the roll top, we've got obviously the, the fastener here. This is a hard metal buckle and you can, not sure if you can hear that, but very durable. It hasn't gotten marked up at all. Just a, a nice little buckle and pretty easy to get on and off no matter what. 
but it has this very long tail. And I think that's so if you have, if you want to shove more stuff in here and let this, like if you had stuff up to here, you could still let me pull that out there. You could still attach this. But in most of my use of this pack, I didn't need to, you know, shove stuff all the way up there. So I just kind of had this tail fluttering around. And it's really not a big deal when you're wearing it because obviously you can't see it. But it's just when you're like, I don't know, looking at it, it just like, I don't know, like a little tail. And there's nowhere to really put it. Like I thought like maybe I could wrap it around this, but just I didn't find anywhere to put it. So if, especially if you're moving quickly or like running or it's windy, your tail's kind of like flopping in the wind there. Not a huge deal, but something I noticed. And another thing to do with the tail and the hook here, I've got this little speaker here, it's the JBL Clip 4, and I'm testing this right now as well. And what I've been doing is I like that you can hook something right here because of that, um, the clip and how it runs down like that. So while I'm riding my bike, I have the clip on right here, and then I can listen to music or you know, listen to a podcast, whatever. Or if you just wanted like to hook a, a carabiner, like the, a Night Eyes S beaner or something like that, you could hook that right there, and then you've got a little bit of extra space. You could also hook down here if you wanted to. So that way it's adding a little bit more use to this. And this is a, a pretty durable strap. I don't have any worry about that ripping off. Otherwise, I wouldn't hang anything on there. But that's something I did almost every single day. And just like a little, I don't want to call it a hack, but something that I enjoyed about the way that this uh, clips on. So we'll get into the front pocket here. A little bit hard to show you this pocket because of you know how, and not awkward, but just where it's located. So a pretty ample sized front pocket. You can see my hand sticking in there. Comes to about here, so it's about that long. And then goes all the way from here to here. So a pretty good sized pocket. If you wanted to throw a tablet or something in there, you could. There is a bit of padding here. It's a pretty rigid padding, not super um, like not a lot of give to it, but there is padding here to protect whatever you put in here. And we have a key clip right here. Really easy to uh, maneuver this key clip. Sometimes you get key clips that just don't want to move for whatever reason. So if you're taking your keys on and off a lot, not a huge deal here. And then the only other thing in this pocket, we have this little zipper compartment right here. We've got the YKK number five zipper. So if you want to keep something separate from Everything else in this pocket, you can put it in the YKK zip. It's not a huge pocket. I'll show you with my hand again. It goes to about right there, so about that much space. And then it goes from about here to here. So a, fa a fairly good sized pocket, but mostly for smaller items. It is a little bit awkward to use this pocket, like if you're going quickly because of it's not um, horizontal, it's vertical. So like you take the backpack off and you gotta go down and then you gotta stick your hand in the side and like look for wherever the item is. Not a huge deal, like I, I figured it out after a couple uses, but just something I thought was important to note. And another thing that I forgot to mention about the zippers is there is a little zipper garage for that zipper there, so which adds to the weather resistance of this pack. And as I said, never any issues with water getting in there. We'll move into the main compartment now. Just undo that clip and unroll the top there. This is gonna be extremely hard to show you, but there it is, there's the, the main compartment. So it's basically kind of like a big chute. And right now I have my lunchbox in there. This is the lunchbox I bring to work pretty much every day. And the reason I have this in here to show you this is not because it's a great lunchbox, it's because this is about the size, uh, tall wise anyways, that of like a good sized item to fit inside this pack. So it's about, this is about four inches tall, and that's a good size item to throw in here without affecting usage of anything else in this pack. So this slides in here pretty nicely. And as you can see on the side, it's stretching that fabric to about as far as it wants to go. You can fit more, but that's going to start affecting how it looks and also how to use it. So I've got this packing cube here, and I'm gonna shove it in there just to sh on top of it, just so you can kind of see how it changes the look and also the usage. So now it's starting to look like more rounded. We'll roll that up just so you can kind of see. And also it affects the top here. I don't think that the roll top looks as nice when you've got that really packed out. So this isn't super heavy right now. It's just a packing cube, you know, with some clothes in it and a lunchbox, but it does look a little almost like bloated. So what I try to do is just 
have things about you know, my lunchbox size, it goes to like about right here is where my lunchbox is and then stack things on top of that. I think it looks nice and as we'll talk about when we get into the laptop compartment, it doesn't affect the use of the laptop compartment. But I'll pull both of those out of there. I can show you a little bit more of the main compartment here. So the only other thing really to know inside the main compartment is we do have this zip here, YKK number five again. I do like how these zippers as well, they match the interior uh, fabric. A lot of times now we're seeing oranges and stuff like that. This is kind of like a, a, a mustard golden color, which I do like. I think it suits the black well, it's a nice contrast. So we've got a zippered pocket here and it goes about to there. So a, a fairly good size pocket. Quick use items are good here. Well, not necessarily quick use because you have to unroll the roll top. But like if you don't need your phone all the time, but you want to have your phone close by, I think that's a good place to put your phone, your wallet, or if you have like your passport or something like that, because someone would have to unroll the whole roll top and get in there to grab your passport. So that's a pretty good secure option. There's some more options in the laptop compartment as well. But as you can kind of see looking down, this is the laptop compartment. So it does eat up a lot of space inside that main compartment, but the laptop compartment's pretty nice as we're about to get into. So I'm not, I don't, it doesn't really bother me, but if you'd like a bigger main compartment and a smaller laptop compartment, that might be an issue for you. Roll this up. And then moving backward once more. So I have the zippers up here right now, as I mentioned. Open that up. And as you can see here, this is the laptop compartment. This back wall here has a lot of padding from the uh, back panel. And we've got this dry zone bag here. So I put my laptop in here pretty much every time I was riding with it. And as I said, got caught in the rain, sleet, snow, you name it. Never any issues with it getting wet. Fits up to a 15 inch laptop. And that's what this is, 15 inch MacBook. No issues on fit, as you can see. Let me slide this in here. There's a little bit of room on the edge there. So if your laptop is a bit of a different configuration, but it's still a 15, I think you should be good to fit inside there. You can also fit the laptop, I'm not sure whether you're supposed to, but not in the dry bag. You can fit it right here, and then you can still fold that down. Sorry, that keeps popping back. Um, so that way if you, you know, were in a rush and you didn't need to put it in the dry zone or it's really warm out and you just don't care to put it in the dry bag, or if you wanted to put documents like pieces of paper inside there, if you were worried about them getting wet, you could throw those in the dry zone and just leave your laptop right here. Because it's still kind of protected by the dry zone because the bag is obviously on this side and then you've got the interior fabric on this side. And we have a fair amount of padding here as well. Similar to what we were talking about on the uh, main or the front pocket. Not a ton of padding, but enough to where my laptop feels safe. Pull that out of there. And something else that I, I think is a really like small thing, but a good include is that, so when this folds over, it's got this little tab. So you don't have to like grab it by the side or whatever. You can just grab this tab and it's open. It does kind of stick to the uh, hook and loop fastener a little bit but not the end of the world as long as you uh, are aware of it. And there you go, you can just rip it off. And you're, oh, didn't work that time. The, milk, or the hook and loop is working very well. Um, but I, I like that include, I, just like a small thing that I think is important. And then moving on, as you can, actually before I move on to this side, as you can see here, here's that diagonal I was talking about and how it's just a little bit awkward. There's like a pocket down here and it, no matter how you do it, I mean, I guess if you're just like reaching down, you can get into that pocket, but if you have it like all the way open, it's kind of awkward. And I'm not really sure why that zipper doesn't go all the way down because it does on this side, but it doesn't on that side. So I'm not sure why that is. It's not a huge deal and you kind of get used to it, but accessing that bottom pocket or if you had something sitting in the bottom of the pack, it's a little bit awkward to get into. But we've got that same stretchy material as the water bottle pocket and the shoulder strap pocket. And we've got a big pocket here and a big pocket here. Grab my phone out real quick. Show you that slides in there. No problem, keeps it nice and tight. Has a little bit of room side to side, but that material is pretty tight. We've got three pen holders. One, this one is the smallest one, and then these two are a little bigger. So you might be able to fit a stylus in these two, and then there's a standard pen or pencil in this one. And then the other pocket on this side, which also fits a phone. So you can do phone, wallet, or like you can put your passport in one of these. Uh, no zipper, obviously, but uh, fairly secure because it's so close to your back. And then we've got this pocket on the back here, which goes down to this seam. And you get a fair amount of padding on this side as well 
to keep whatever you put in there safe. If you have a smaller tablet or something, you could put this in here. Um, but overall, some pretty good usage in this laptop compartment. It's less of a laptop sleeve and more of an actual compartment because there is a lot of stuff going on here. But we'll close that up now. Actually, I will leave that open and I'm going to show you what I meant about stuffing too much in here affecting the laptop compartment. So I'll put the lunchbox back. We'll also put this packing cube in there. Close that up. There we go. So a lot of times when I went to get my laptop out, especially when I had a bunch of stuff in there, if you're trying to be quick and you're just you know, like, oh, I'm gonna get my laptop out and you go down, it like, this is like bulging into the laptop compartment because there is so much stuff in there and the material is kind of at its wits end. So it kind of like pushes into, like you can kind of, I don't know if you can really see that bulge there, but it's almost like bulging into the laptop compartment, which just kind of makes getting things in and out of that laptop compartment a little tricky. It's not the end of the world and I've gotten used to it, but especially if you're in a hurry or you just, you got somewhere to be, it's just a little bit awkward. And I don't think that there's any way to really get around it, but just something that I thought was important to note. And lastly, this is, a, like I said, very min minimalistic pack. Um, and it looks very nice, but when it comes to like setting it down, it's a little bit awkward because there really isn't a flat bottom. So like if you like set your bag down and you're gonna like trying to like lean it on something, it doesn't really excel at that. It's not really a pack that you can just sit down and leave it there and not worry about it because like I said, there isn't that flat bottom. It's more of a, a pack for hanging. So I have a, a hook in my house and I did hang it up most of the time. This hook, uh, very basic, just like folded on top of itself, not much padding, but it, it does the job. But if you're just like setting it down or like you're loading it, like if you're in the office or something or you're at a, ho or a, a cafe and you're just holding your bag and loading stuff in it and you're not paying attention for a second, it's gonna, it's gonna tumble down one way or the other. Like it, it's not staying up no matter like, there is no way to get this pack to, uh, to stand up. And that's especially true when you have it really full because this material kind of like, it's like a hill that like works its way up. It's not flat. Um, so that's not the end of the world. It's just something to note. Like if you have some stuff in here you really don't want to break, you don't want to uh, let go of it or, you know, just leave it sitting there. Not that you would, but, you know, obviously it, you, it's easy to, like when you're on vacation to forget and, try and take a picture or something and then your backpack falls. But ample padding and very durable material. So even if it does fall, like mine did a few times, I never had any issues with anything breaking. But as I always say, just wanted to let you know. So there you have it, the Low Alpine Depot 25. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel. We'll see you in the next one.